Hello guys, my name is Colin and this is Colin Talks Crypto. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The question I wanna to pose to you today is, if you're holding Bitcoin, are you going to hold past $100,000 or are you going to start taking profits before we hit that range? And I think this is a very important question we all should be asking ourselves. Does it make sense to take profits below $100,000 for Bitcoin? Now I'm gonna give you my short answer first and then we're gonna talk about it a bit and give you the long answer. So my short answer is no, I personally will not be taking profits below $100,000. Now, why might that be? And I'm gonna show you this slide here. So let's take a look at these Bitcoin bull runs. In 2011 was our first major top, and we hit a price of $31. After that, we hit a bear market low of $2, which was a 94% drop. Next, we had a bull run up 37X, a 37X increase from peak to peak. What was the top? We reached $1,153. So to go from $31 in that first peak to $1,153 in that next peak, two years later was a 37X increase, followed by an 85% drop down to $173. Now in 2017, which was the $20,000 Bitcoin price, we saw a 17X increase from the previous bull run peak. So from $1,153 in 2013 to $20,000 in 2017 was a 17X multiplier, followed by an 84% draw down to just over $3,000 in the bear market. Now that leaves this right hand column, these question marks to fill in this blank. What is it going to be? It definitely looks like we're going to be hitting this mid to late 2021, but what is the multiplier gonna be? And I've covered this in a few videos and my particular guess, just based on looking at this pattern, it looks like we might hit an eight or a 10 X. And so an 8X of $20,000 would bring us to $160,000. A 10X would bring us to $200,000. That's my very rough ballpark figure for where I think the next bull run peak will be. Obviously, the pattern may not continue and we don't really have enough data points to nail that down for sure. It could be as high as $300,000 or $400,000 for all we know. But you see the figures that we're talking about here. I'm saying that on a conservative guesstimate, we're looking at like $160,000 just based on this particular peak to peak comparison of metrics. So if I'm looking at $160,000, it's kind of like a low ball, low end peak for Bitcoin. Why would I take profits at $80,000, for example, or $90,000, for example? Now, I know there's going to be an enormous, enormous amount of resistance when we get close to the $100,000 price level. That's just psychologically undeniable. That will happen. And we'll probably have a very hard time breaking through that. It'll probably bounce off that price level numerous times before it breaks through it. But this chart is why I feel very strongly that we will be breaking through $100,000. And you know, to put it in perspective, I did not wait four years from the last bull run peak. I've been holding this whole time. I did not wait four years to go a meager 3X or 4X off the last all time high, especially when a chart like this is showing us that it's very likely to be at least double that with an 8X or higher. So why the heck, after a full four years, I held onto my Bitcoin and my cryptocurrency, and why would I part with it for a meager three or four X? That to me is just kind of stupid and weak handed. And that's just me speaking personally, and that's how I'm gonna handle my Bitcoin. This is not financial advice but I didn't wait four years to make a three or four X because if it only three or four X's, let's say that's what happens. By the way, I could see us doing a double peak where like it hits a three or four X, it goes down and then it shoots up to new super all time highs rapidly within a few months later, kind of like we did in 2013. But anyways, anything's possible. It could be one giant bull run. It could be a double peak, which I think is increasingly likely. And I'll get into that in another video on why I think a double peak is likely. But to stay on topic on this video, if we only see a three or a four X to a 60,000 or $80,000 Bitcoin price, 
I'm comfortable waiting for the bear market because I know we're most likely not going to drop below $20,000 as another very strong point of support. And if you take a look at the past bull runs here, you'll see that every time there was a bear market pull down and correction, it never goes back below the previous all time high. So for example, in 2013, there was a bear market down $173. Well, that's way over the last top of $31. In 2017, we saw a pull down to $3,100. That's about 3X the previous all time high. So if that pattern holds true, again, we're looking at a future bear market low of 40 to $60,000. And so just with that alone, why would I take profits at 60 or $80,000 when that's very likely to be the bear market bottom? And I certainly don't want to sell low and buy high, even on a multi-year time scale. So I'm really trying to set my eyes on the targets here and not sell myself short. You know, some people might say, Take profits at 50,000, take profits at 70,000, take profits at 90,000, take profits at 100,000. I don't think that's a smart move, personally speaking. I think that all of that will be dropping enormous profits down a black hole. Because again, we're gonna probably see a bear market low of 40 to $60,000. So we're probably gonna see a bear market high of 160 to $300,000, just based on the trends of the bull runs. And my safety net is that if it doesn't, let's say that it only hits 60 or $80,000 and that actually is the peak. I'm totally comfortable with waiting because it's gonna bounce around, it's gonna go to a bear market low of whatever it goes. Probably if it only went to $80,000, the bear market would be like $20,000. It would probably go down that far, maybe $30,000, somewhere in that range right there because it didn't even go that high, right? And so, I mean, I've already had $20,000 forever. I'm comfortable waiting longer. I'd rather make my gains worthwhile. You know, when you sell your crypto, especially if you have tax liabilities, which I personally do not being in Puerto Rico for 0% on capital gains, but most of you will have tax implications when you sell. So if you sold at $80,000, 30% of that or give or take is gonna be taxed. So you didn't really make $80,000. And of course you have your cost basis too, which is probably not zero. Let's say you bought in at 20,000, you sold at 80,000, that's 60,000 in profit, but it's not really because you take 30% out of that and you're left with like $50,000 or $40,000. It's not really worth it in my opinion, when you could probably just wait a few more years and see even bigger gains. If it only goes to $80,000, I'm willing to bet there is a much larger cycle on the horizon and not too far away. I just don't, think that with all the heavy corporate and institutional interests, Michael Saylor, MicroStrategies, Elon Musk, Tesla, Square, PayPal, you know, this level of institutional adoption does not bode for a 4x increase. We're seeing the most fervor involved in investing in Bitcoin that we have seen ever in Bitcoin's history. So why would you take the most investing excitement and bet the worst bet you could have on a 4x or a 3x multiplier? That simply doesn't make sense. It's like gambling and not paying attention to the odds at all. You're ignoring the facts in front of your face. So for me, I'm gonna take an 8X as the conservative bare minimum and up from there. So for me, $160,000 is where I think it could go to or higher. I'll probably start taking profits somewhere above $100,000, maybe $140,000, $120,000 at the bare minimum is currently what I'm looking at. Probably higher than $120,000 to be honest with you. Just again, because of everything I've said, the multipliers, the peak to peak, and the institutional interest that we have never seen anything like this before. And so this user here, Vance Spencer said, the real max pain will be crypto OGs selling Bitcoin at $100,000 and watching institutions take the ride all the way to $400,000. Now, I don't know if we're going to see 400,000. We could, we may see 250, we could see 300, somewhere in that range, right? But I agree with him completely. Taking profits at $100,000 is going to be letting the real holders make the real profits. So let me know what you think in the description below. What is your strategy? Where do you think you wanna take profits? And do you feel comfortable waiting over $100,000? Do you think you have the mental fortitude to wait beyond that huge psychological price number? That's 
six figures. That's the first time in Bitcoin's history we're going to have hit six figures. Do you think you have the mental fortitude to hold beyond that figure? Let me know in the comments below what you think you can do. And you know, congratulations everyone, Bitcoin as a market cap just surpassed $1 trillion the moment it surpassed $53,000 per Bitcoin. So guys, we are on a rocket ride and I think it's going to be extremely, extremely exciting. Stay tuned for my future videos where I talk about my predictions, my future cash out plans, my strategy for taking those profits and where I'm going to be putting that money and how I'll be buying more crypto in the future, what those profits that I have taken. And also, if I remember, I'll try to make a video on my theory about this likely double peak that's coming up. Thank you so much for joining me. Please hit that bell icon. Please smash, pound, and destroy that like button. And I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.